Hey everybody, so I got a new microscope to show you today. Now I've had this one for a couple months. I just haven't gotten around to actually using it and getting a good feel for it. And I actually lost a couple pieces to it. So you do get more slides. Uh, this one's from a different microscope I have. Apparently I can't find a slide that, I, that came with this one. Also it has the little clips that clip the slides down and it's magnetic and I, apparently I lost that as well. But other than that, let's go ahead and just show you the microscope. This one has a nice large digital display. So the little platform here is movable. There's these little yellow knobs. You'll be able to slide it front and forward and side to side. You also have your focus knob and you have a light. There's two different lights actually. So you got a light that faces downward and you got a light that comes upwards. And there's a knob for one and a knob for the other. Also, this one does 100 times, 600 times, and 1200 times. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this powered up. I'll try to angle this camera. We can show this a little bit better. And what's also really cool is that this one's actually rechargeable. Like right now, it's running off of the battery inside. You can take this outside and you can do stuff outside. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and have this flipped around so we can see the camera a little bit better. Also, this has 32 gigabytes built in for the memory for this model. Also, this screen is touchscreen. So we'll go ahead and hit it. We got some settings that will pop up. There's a little square here, you can click that, and then you can make some different changes for the different, some of the different settings. Uh, you can also take pictures, you can take video, and it will record it to the internal memory. Plug this into your computer with a USB cord, and use it as a mass storage device, and you'll be able to access all the videos and the photos off of this. Alright, so let's go ahead and put a couple slides. I got uh, like a honeybee wing. You can use the focus to make it a little easier to see. But as you can see, that is a pretty nice picture. And we're on the 100 times right now. And right now I do have that light turned up. So right now it's the light facing downward and uh, the knob over here will adjust and turn that on and off. So now we have no light whatsoever. You can still see some stuff. If we turn that light back on, it's definitely gonna make it a little easier to see. And then you can also turn that other light on, let it focus there a little bit, and then you can adjust. Uh, you may not need as much light depending on what you're trying to look at. This one doesn't really need a whole lot of it. And then if you wanna take a picture, you can just you know hit that picture button. And it's gonna say picture saved. Now you'll be able to load that onto a computer. All right, so I got an onion epidermis. We can also bring it a little bit closer, refocus this. That's pretty cool. So that's a microscopic view of a onion epidermis. Now I tried using the higher magnifications, depending on what you're trying to use. It doesn't always work too well. All right, so I do have a fly on here as well. I saved this fly from a prior microscope and just had it in a little baggie for you know, another chance like this. Now, right now we are just on the 100 times. If I try to zoom in to like the 600 times, we can't, I can't get it to focus. But as you can see with even the 100 times, you can see that fly pretty darn well. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I mean, you could even get all the little individual hairs so I'd say this microscope does a pretty good job. Now this model in particular is not going to be very good for like coins. I mean, you'll be able to get a nice little close up, but you're not going to be able to get the whole coin in this one. But if you're wanting to just see, you know, close ups of parts of the coin, it actually works really, really well. Anyway, that's my quick overview of this microscope. I think it works really well. I really like this one. I like that the screen is really large. You can connect it to your computer and get the images and the files off of it pretty easily. And it does have a pretty nice magnification. Now I do wish that it would go just a little bit higher up so we can get more in the focus. But besides that, it works great. You can see some really small things and it's pretty cool.